Right, just a slight deviation, because this lady told me about this track. Now, what I'm thinking is... This is the track. I could have done a circular and come back down through that wood where that woman was I met. I reckon this is it. I reckon this is the track she was telling me about. That's the wood that I was sort of in for a little bit of the time over there across the other side of that field. And this is the track that would take me to the end of that wood and in theory I could walk back through it. She said the track would take you to a field. And she said you can either go back to the car park or you could branch off I don't know if I've walked down here in the past. Now this is the thing about hiking and walking. You've got to remember time. I haven't got a vehicle. I have to catch a bus. It is very annoying really because I can't be fr as free as I want to. Because I know I've got to turn back in a minute. I can't do what I really want to do. Um, see there's that field that she was probably on about. You can get into the field, or you can go on down. I think I probably will leave it, because I can see that that looks like it's leading. And all I do, all, I, all, all it would be is I would end up over through there, through a stile, and I'd be ended up back walking where I've just walked. So what I'm going to do is leave it for now. Because so I haven't got time actually to explore thoroughly um, that. Not really. I hate it really because if I had my van I would go down there now and do it. But I've got to allow three hours to get back. It's dead on two o'clock. What we'll do, we might have to miss some other stuff out. What I'll do, I'll just go down here just to see. So I can't imagine there being too many droves. Um, not really. This is the track she's on about. So we just we just have a look. I might have done it before. I'd have to go back into the videos, um, which is a while back. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's quite likely I did do this. Do you know what I mean? I, and I can't remember everything I've done, because I've done loads of exploring. And if I only did it the once, if you know what I mean, and never came back and done any more, I might not have internalised the memory. So, we don't like unfinished business, so basically I like to finish one job. We just do a... I'll be marching back anyway. So... I don't like having to rush anything, to be quite honest. Not, I like to enjoy everything. But this is recce again. This is a bit more recce. And I reckon I probably, I got a feeling, you know, I did do it. I got a feeling I did come up here. Whether I would, I had very inferior cameras in those days. You might have run out of battery. Didn't, I didn't have a charger. I didn't have a charger then. Yeah, I reckon this is it. I reckon it is. I reckon I have done this. I just can't remember. Something looks familiar, but when I mean, that's familiar, that, that, that wood. I've just been in that wood. I'm going to go to the end. Then we won't feel like, oh, I wonder... You know, there won't be any sort of wondering. You'll know that that's it. And, you know, that's good now. This is part of Sheila's exploring in the Somerset countryside, everyone. There's a lot more to see. Um, and I've just walked through that wood a minute ago, right? So it's a bit of repeat, really. The aerials will be right up over the hill there. Um, I, just, I just really want to go up the top. Um, because she said there's walks all the way over the top there I mean I'd love to do it <clears throat> yeah 10-15 years ago definitely 
anything earlier, I would have been doing it. I wouldn't have questioned it, I, you know, but I would have had more energy. I would have had more energy in those days. I'm younger, fitter, stronger, and faster. You know what I mean? I was very fit in the, oh, in the past. Very fit. Yeah, it's all looking familiar. This bit here. I wonder where that goes all the way there. I mean, these droves go for miles. I can't follow it all. This would be about the area where she would be on about going through a style. But it makes you think, oh, I wonder what's up there. Doesn't it? Oh, I wonder what's up there. But she did say it might just lead to a road. So we don't want to do that. But here's the style. Here's the style, look. Yeah, I think I have been here. I think I have. And you go down there and you'll get into that wood through a style. I've done it, I have done it. I have been here, I just can't remember it. Yeah, I just can't remember it. But I will walk back there in a minute because uh, it is time to get cracking. I just, I'm just getting over here just to get my bearings again. Yeah, there's a farm. I can hear a busy road. And that would be the, oh, I can see the gate leading into the wood down there, look. I can see it. But th this is enchanting me now. Where does this go? Let's just walk down to that gate a minute and take a picture, come on. In fact, we've done like two little mini Circular. I mean, I, I walk around that bit as well, don't forget. Yeah, I can see the the stretch now that where I met the woman and where there was that little, those sticks all piled up to make a little den. Yeah, I understand now. Yeah, I have done this. I have done it. It's funny how you can forget. I mean, it's because I didn't do it very often, you see. Yeah, that's right. And she said, if you carried on, you'd just come to a road. Ah, right, yeah. I'm not going to go back that way, though, but I just wanted to confirm it in my mind, and I remember now, I have done it. I've crossed that old stile before. Yeah, here we are. There's the road. There's the track I was on a minute ago. I walked that. I come off a little bit earlier, just along a bit. Somerset Education Committee, Educational Nature Reserve. Yeah. Wow, so we've done that. We've just consolidated the memory. Over and out. Right, folks. I have been here before. Only once. And I probably did that. Went back through that. Walked that road again. I have done it. Something's just hooked out of the mind. And I might have got it on video. I might have captured it on photo. All those videos, um, well, I have got them all. And everything I've ever done to do with my Somerset walking, I've kept. And I usually upgrade the discs at least every five to ten years. They're never touched. I always do brand new ones. I have one that, I, what I call a working one, and the other, so I used to do three copies. I need to go through them all again, but it's a big job ploughing through everything. But I might dig them up. Um, I don't even know if they'd been put on YouTube then. It was the early days, I think. Anyway, folks, this is Sheila. I think it's the 6th of September, 2021, and I'm out on um, a hike to the nature reserve, which was in that wood there. I came over on purpose and I'm glad I pursued this little road again because I had forgotten. I had forgotten but something brought it back to my memory. And um, so I'm very pleased with that. What I'm going to try and do, I'm, we might have 10 minutes to spare 
just to do some humpy bump. But I mean, I have got to get back to Cheddar and it's not just a stroll in the park. Okay, over and out. Right, just come off the path there. Um, we're just going to have a wander down by this copse here. And then we'll do a circle round and end up on a road and then back. we just do a little circle round. I remember walking up through that copse, walking into it. I think there is an actual pathway. It is very warm today though. And I've brought three bottles of water. I mustn't um, break into the third bottle if I can help it. What we'll do after I've drunk the second one, which won't be half left, I'm going to start eating my oranges because it is a very exposed area. Yes, good job I never went any fields over that way. Actually, there's cows there. It is um, all very exposed around here, see? But I'm just showing you, this is a bit more of the, of the Blackmore Nature Reserve I'm showing you. The path I was on earlier, there's the Roman humps and bumps over there. I was on the nature trail further over. What I've done, I'm just doing a sweep round. So we're sort of going back, but we're sort of deviating at the same time. I think it's recording. Is it? Let me have a look. Yeah, it is recording. I'm sorry if it's humpy and bumpy, but it won't be breezy, will it? So we just follow this main path. We'll just take, try and get up to the other side of that hill there, I think. And then, um, this is probably the hill the woman was on about. And if you wanted to walk further onto the hill, I remember that's what she said to me. And I thought, yeah, I have done all that. So, that's probably what she's referring to. It's nice, just nice to do a little bit of more while I'm here. But because it, it took me a while to get here, walking, see, and I have to walk back. I won't be doing a big walk tomorrow. I won't be doing a big walk tomorrow. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. <sighs> I've decided to just deviate a bit from what I was going to do. Um, there will be chances another time as well to come out and go up. I was going to go up into the wood and everything, but I thought I've never really walked this bit, of, this little path. So I thought, why well, don't you do that? You don't, you don't have to go all the way up in the wood, Jill. Just walk up here. Don't, I don't want any pressure on me, you see. I don't want any pressure. This looks like, um, this has all been fenced off. This is probably a swallet or a entrance underground that has been fenced off because it might be dangerous. This is all velvet bottom along here, everyone. And if I, if I video, if I go in over there, you can see the top of the church at Charter House. I've got images of that church as well in the past. Not the inside, it's always been closed. That's the Roman bits that I've pointed out on other videos. And a very small section today. So we've got, um, I'm just going to turn off and take a picture. Right then, so just looking back now before we start heading back to Cheddar. That's the big wood I was in where the nature trail was in. Um, this is all velvet bottom with all the features of the lead mining from the Romans and the Victorians. That's a, probably a pothole there, or it could be an old kiln. I'm not sure. There's a tunnel through the hill there. I've been to it. I don't think it was open when I... I got a feeling it was open, actually, when I walked through it. I don't really want to, I don't really like walking around here now because of this is adder country, don't forget. It'd be good to see an adder though. 
I'm just going to join up with a path over there. You've got to be careful. I've, there's lots of holes from rabbits and and things like that. Oh, I would have thought there'd been an adder out today. Definitely. You can see all the bunny rabbit holes everywhere, you see. So anyway, I haven't walked this bit before. It's all new. Now over there, it's all very humpy bumpy. Um... And it's better to come in the winter, so I might do a walk out here another time. Um, I don't want to overload people with information. <laughs> now, this will take me back to the road. I'm actually going to be heading back for Cheddar now. I was going to do some more of the humpy bumpy stuff by walking through the wood and then getting up there where there's lots of potholes and, and things like that. But I have got other images from the past. Um, I might just have to see if I've put any of those videos on YouTube. If not, I might dig them out. Oh, I just saw a little lizard then. A little tiny lizard just across in front of me then. Like a newt, you know. Yeah, here it me coming. Snake would be the same off. Yeah. Snake country. But they would know people walk here. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'll come back. There's a lot to look. I'll just concentrate on that area. But I'll see what, what I've got, and I can share it with you all. But the, the only thing is with sharing anything of um, pre-2014 is that it was very fossil-like, the, um, the camera, the everything. People, experts would think this is a load of crap what I'm doing now. People that are really, really expert, uh, they would feel that this is bad. But, you know, you progress a little bit at a time and it all costs money. It all costs money. I've seen a heron, I've seen butterflies. Um... Nature at work, life. That's what all this is, life. God, it's ever so hot. I'm just going to turn off and take some pictures, folks, of these flowers.